Guys, today I'm going to be showing you, in my opinion, the best lure for bass fishing at any lake or pond. So our target species today are going to be bass, and the lure we're going to be using is going to be a 1.5 KVD Signature Series Rattle, and many, many, many colors work for this. I mean, this, in my opinion, is my personal favorite. This is the river minnow color. It's got a blue sparkle back front, like on its back. And then its belly is white and red. So it looks a really good color for predator fish. But this lure is my favorite lure for any lakes and sometimes rivers. Like some really big lakes are also really good with this lure. But this lure can catch many different species on here. I mean many, like bass, you can catch largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, I've caught a catfish on this lure. Um, you can catch crappie, sunfish, you can catch just about any, any single fish on here. There's not really a limit for this lure. This lure is, works really well. The action is super lifelike and it's pretty simple to use it so what you want to do is you want to have your rod tip up like this and you want to just reel it straight in if you want you can reel it then a pause and then reel it again then a pause but personally i find best success in just reeling it straight forward because this lure it looks like a fish that's swimming away and then the bass, it just targets on an instinct and it will go after that lure for a long time. So this time right now, I'm fishing during the spring and there's the bass in my lake right now are spawning. Oh, there's a bite. But this lure, it works very well for many different fish, but it's pretty simple to use. You can feel that bite really easily because what you feel is when you're reeling this lure in you want to have a medium action rod because it's much easier to feel it but what you feel is little vibrations if you look at my rod tip how it's vibrating like that you can feel it and when a bass bites it it'll just stop or it will jerk a different way and that in my opinion is the best thing about this lure because you can just tell automatically when they're the bass bite but this lure like i said i mean it's a great lure for many many spots like you can cast under bridges under docks you can skip it you can cast out to that font fountain in the center which i'm doing but you can use it many many different ways you can go right out there with it and you can work it in this way some bass might be hanging out in there but you can just get to about every single area with this lure i mean like it works well it bounces off rocks it you, if you tie it the right way this lure the um little eye on there that you tie it right here it's made out of stainless steel metal and so is the these hooks but the the eye and the hooks are made out of the same material and the material is amazing but the rod i'm using look here's a little bass right here the rod i'm using is just a little like it's a little demo black rod the reel i'm using is a quantum reel and it's a bait caster this what you want you have to be experienced while bait casting otherwise it's gonna you're gonna get a lot of bird's nests and it's not gonna be very easy to catch fish with it but this lure it like see the bass is looking at it right there but this lure i mean it works in many many different areas like you can cast it under docks if you want over there and the color on this like i said is a river minnow but this is overall a really really great lure so i'm gonna head over here to a different spot because it seems to be that there's no fish there 
but the great thing about these lures is they're not heavy so you just can put a couple split shots on there and then you got yourself a really good lure but i mean it works for all different sizes of bass you can have little four inch bass eat it oh there's one boom there you go first one of the day decently sized for this area it's that hook setting on there man that dang's deep in there but that was these hooks sometimes you need pliers I didn't bring pliers but these hooks man they will set hard boom there you go so that is bass number one of the day well, technically the evening, but that is a good sized bass for this pond. So let's just let them go. And there you go. See this lure? It's so lifelike that even bass that aren't hungry, they'll just go after it anyways. Because bass have a sixth sense, as fishermen call it, and it just triggers them to go after those lures. And that's the fun thing about fishing, because even though the bass might be hungry, some really, really great lures like this one will trigger their sixth sense, and they'll just go after the lure anyways. But it's a great lure to use for any areas for fishing. But, I mean, like, there's so many different colors. There's, like, they're all rattle traps. I would recommend getting the rattle trap one because it makes extra sounds and vibrations in the water. But you can get, like... You can get red colors, yellow colors, this river minnow, a pumpk a natural sunfish, a natural pumpkin seed. It like there's so many different colors. And this brand this brand KVD, I think it's one of their best lures that they've came out with in a very long time. So when you would look at my tackle box, my small little bass tackle box that have all my best lures and my favorite lures to use at certain times of the day that I use when I go to ponds like this instead of bringing my big tackle box. They'll have like four of these lures, two of the other colors, and just a ton of like, like a ton of these KVD crankbaits. I got a couple jerk baits in there and I got a topwater lure, but these, baits are over the top they were fantastic for like any areas the only bad side in my opinion is sometimes when you're fishing mossy lakes these lakes they will definitely get moss and stuff on them but that's fine in my opinion these aren't pricey if you go to bass pro they're like five bucks a pop not pricey at all and they work great i've had this one that I'm using, I've had it for about like two months now. And for most lures, they break by then or something. But this lure, man, it's going strong. None of the hooks are bent out. I haven't had to change any of the hooks. It's a great lure. But like I said, the only bad side is I get so much moss on here. But if you're fishing a lake that's not mossy, then you're not going to get any moss on here and you're going to be able to feel that bite even quicker but like right down here this is a great great spot you come right up in here get in that fountain that's a good good spot where you're going to get some bass oh looks like there's something there But you just want to cast around like bass and other fish like this. They like spots where the water is flowing and there is constantly new water in here. So this area, like all up in there and in here, is where you're going to get these bites at. Now, sometimes it may be a little too shallow right in there. So what you want to do is you don't want to cast directly where that was at you want to cast a bit to the side of it but if you can do that it will really improve your fishing game and you'll be able to catch a lot more 
fish with that river minnow color crankbait. But, I mean, it's a great lure for any area. Just cast right over there. And a lot of times you'll end up getting bass on here and you won't even see them in the water. They'll just like, even if it's two feet away, they'll just strike it out of nowhere. And when they do that, it's amazing because when they strike it out of nowhere, if you've never had that happen to you, it's amazing. It's like one of the best feelings you can have. But these areas in here where those buoys are in that area, these are all great, great spots to catch some bass at. But they'll hang out around these areas and they'll just wait and wait for little fish to come out there. And when they do, it's just an easy meal for them. So that's what we're trying to mimic with this lure. And it works really well. The way it swims, it swims fantastically. And you, we're just tr you just try to have, you just have to match the hatch and find the best like looking colors and lures for the area. But if you don't just have live bait on you, which is in my opinion, the best type of lure, it's not even a lure. It's, perfect you just put it on there you don't have to do a thing just put it on there and let it swim around and that's just going to attract bass even more than a lure would but these lures are great for areas so right up in here it looks like there might be some spawning beds so i'm just gonna got a snag oh there you go do i have a bass on here Oh, I got a frog. What? I got a frog. How did that happen? Oh. My man, the frog over here, must have just, like, been hanging on a rock. This dude must have just been not happy with that lure. Because as you guys can see... He just like, he just obliterated that thing. Now, frogs, man, these guys are another deal. Like, I, as a fisherman, I don't eat frog, so I would, this guy's all tangled up. I feel bad for him, man. I, as a fisherman, I don't eat frog. I mean, I've heard it's good, but I don't eat any type of fish. I don't eat any of the stuff that I catch because I just think that that's not good. So I'm going to turn the camera off really quick and get this guy undone and then I'll see you guys.